Hello students. Today I am going to tell you a method, a shortcut method through which you can find solutions of equations which actually result into a quadratic equation and then you have to apply long methods to solve those quadratic equations. Now through this method you will be able to find the answer directly. Now I am taking one example. Now see, suppose we have a special type of equation in which one number and its reciprocal, the sum is given. Say we are given the sum as 10 upon 3. This is a very common question as at class 10th level where the students have the chapter of quadratic equations. So the traditional approach to this question is to take L LCM in the left hand side and then to cross multiply, bring everything to the left, you will have a quadratic equation. Then solve the quadratic equation by either splitting the middle term or, or by using quadratic formula then get the final result. For solving these type of question in which the left side contains two terms which are reciprocal of one another, you don't actually need to take the LCM. Now, what you do here is, see, I am dealing with problems in which there are two terms in the left hand side and they are reciprocal of each other. Okay? Normally, these, this thing happens in uh, these type of questions that, that on the left hand side you have these types of terms. So, just observe 10 by 3 now. Now this 10 by 3, what you try to do is, in such cases, you try to write the numerator 10 as a sum of two perfect squares. Like here, you can write 10 as 9 plus 1, 9 is 3 square and 1 is 1 square. So you write, split this numerator into two parts, both parts should be a perfect square. And once you do that, half of your work is done. Denominator is 3. Now just split the denominator. This will come out to be 3 plus 1 by 3. Now see, on the left hand side you had one term and its reciprocal added together. Now 10 by 3 is broken into two parts. One term and its reciprocal added together. So if you have only x here, just take x, the first term here will be equal to either 3 or the second term 1 by 3. So this is your answer, x is either 3 or 1 by 3. Now, let us complicate this problem a little bit. Say we have x minus 1 and x plus 2 as the first term and obviously its reciprocal is added and the result which you are given is 41 upon 20. Now this is a very very long question. If you take LCM, you are uh, spending a lot of time in the traditional method. Now through this method which I just told you, we can break 41 upon 20. Numerator can be broken into two parts which are both, both of them are perfect squares. See, 41, 16 plus 25 is 41. So 16 and 25 both are perfect squares. Now if you split the denominator like this, so this will come out to be 4 upon 5 and this is 5 upon 4. Now see you have the sum of two numbers which are reciprocals of each other. So what to do now is just take the first term x minus 1 upon x plus 2 and put it equal to the first term here, 4 by 5. So by cross multiplying this, you get your first solution as 13. And in the second part, take the same thing again, x minus 1 upon x plus 2. And this time, use the second term here, 5 by 4. And now cross multiply, this will give you the second answer, minus 14. So your answers are 13 and minus 14. See the amount of energy, amount of time we are using up in these steps and if you do that by traditional method, you are bound to spend 4 times more energy and more time. Now let us conclude the trick by having one more example. Say we have x upon x minus 1 as the first term and obviously the reciprocal x minus 1 upon x as the second term. Now, 
here you have 24 upon 35 as the RHS. Now I want to see whether I can write 24 as the sum of two numbers which are perfect squares or not. So if you start from 1, 1 plus 4 is not 24, 4 plus 9, 9 plus 16 is 25. So you don't have any two numbers which are perfect squares and which add up to 24. So in these cases you can look for two numbers whose difference is 24 and which are perfect squares. So here you observe that 49 minus 25 is actually 24. So you can modify this process. Here we were taking the sum, we can have the difference also in the numerator. Now the process is same if you split the denominator. This will come out to be 7 upon 5 minus 5 upon 7. The trick is to have this RHS broken down into two terms which are reciprocal of each other. Right? Now take the first term here x upon x minus 1 and put it equal to 7 upon 5 and in the second case take the first term and put it equal to second term this time we have a negative so we have to take the negative sign also together with that. So this is 7x minus 7 equal to 5x so 2x is 7 so x comes out to be 7 by 2 here 7x equal to minus 5x plus 5 so 12x equal to 5 so x gives the value 5 by 12 so 7 by 2 and 5 by 12 is the required answer so students by having these methods up your sleeves you can save a lot of time in examination and obviously you have to solve by traditional method in examination but you can avoid silly mistakes by checking your answer through these methods in exams and it is very 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 important for competitive exams where you need not worry about the number of steps. So keep learning, keep sharing and subscribe the channel if you like it.